Look at that. Don't you hate when that happens? The better. Excuse my nasty nails. Hey everyone! It's just so I am going to do a video for you today all about my top 10 summer must haves for vacation. And conveniently, I'm going on vacation in about three days. I'm going on a road trip to SoCal. Well, we're hitting a few spots, so first we're starting in Santa Cruz before we go south, but we are, well, more south, but we're, um, we're going to Santa Cruz and we're going to go camping for two nights, then we're going to go all the way down to San Diego, we're going to spend two nights there, hit the beach, get some fish tacos, go to the zoo, duh, and then we're going to come back, stop in LA, visit my cousin down there for two nights, go to Disneyland, obviously. And then we're going to come back, I think maybe hit um, the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and then back home to San Francisco. So I'm super excited. I just thought it was a perfect time to share some of my my vacation must-haves and essentials that I always bring with me, especially on summer trips when uh, I'm going to be camping, going to be going to the beach a lot. Let's just get started with number one. When I got you in my so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is a hair product, and it is dry shampoo. This one I got at Victoria's Secret, the So Sexy Style. Um, I know that they have a deal, it's buy two, get one, the third one for free, so, for their hair products, so, it's a really good deal. But, I don't really use any of the other stuff, but I like the dry shampoo, it works really well. It does leave that kind of, like, white blonde sheen for a sec, but once you brush it out, it's fine. It goes away. I, yeah, that one, so it does do that, which is a downer so if you have a dry shampoo that doesn't or one that you really love go for it but I actually really like this one it's very effective it sucks out the oil out so I can just brush it out and feel clean and good to go especially when I want to do a day two look when I'm gonna be camping I'm probably not gonna shower every day mm, gross <laughs> but you know we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff so I'm not gonna have time to wash my hat my hair at least every day so um, it's good to have it's useful so the second must have is going to be my Pond's cold cream, cold cream, cold cream moisturizer and cleanser. I love this stuff. This is mostly a must have, not like specifically for a summer trip, but just for my life. I have to have it. It's a little bulky, but the thing that I love about this is that it moisturizes so well and it like, it gets your makeup off and it's so fast. You just put it all over your face, put it on your eyes, gets your lip stick off, gets your eye makeup off, get a wash cloth, get it wet, whoop, gone. I love it. Plus, I have combination skin, so sometimes my skin is really oily, sometimes it's really dry. For people who have oily skin, for instance, this would actually be a pretty good product to use just because you're adding moisture to your face and still getting your makeup off. Your skin's gonna, you know, no notice the added moisture and it's not gonna need to produce as much, which is why this is actually a good product for all skin types. But I love it, super easy. I like the way it smells too, actually. Ugh, it smells like clean. It smells, it, it's good. And my face feels so clean and it feels like it can breathe afterwards. So I love this stuff. The third thing is obviously sunscreen. I mean, do you see this? I'm very pasty pale. I do not tan. I like to put this stuff on. This is an SPF 30, which is good enough for me. Um, but I like this stuff because it dries really quickly, and it's it's true, it's a lightweight, clean feel. It doesn't feel sticky like some spray sunblocks. It doesn't feel super oily and like it's just slathered all over you and super gross. It goes on, it just feels like lotion, and it dries into your skin, and then you are set. You don't have to reapply it for at least like, well for me, I reapply it almost every 45 minutes, if not sooner, just because, especially if I'm getting in the water, because I definitely don't want to get burnt because I don't just get burnt I, I roast I roast I get it's not pretty so this is definitely something I need um, yeah but I, I really like this one this one's my favorite right now moving on to number four um, so 
obviously, if you're going camping or to the beach or anything in the summer, you're going to need a swimsuit. But I like to bring several because, I mean, I'm not going to be really doing my laundry. So, well, if I get one soaking wet, I'm not going to want to, like, wait for it to dry and then get another one. So, I'll just show you some of the swimsuits that I am bringing. All of them except for one is from Victoria's Secret. You can tell where I like to shop. So, there's this one, which is super cute. It's just a basic bandeau. It does have straps that you can attach to it. Um, but I really like it. I feel like it's going to make me look a little bit tanner. It looks really pink, but it's actually a coral color. Like an orangey coral, but I'm excited about that one. And then I got my favorite color for the other one. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is everyone's favorite color right now, but I am so in love with tealy mints. Super cute. I love it. I love the lace. Super excited. They didn't have my size for a while and I was like, <gasps> but then they got it. And now they have tons of these. Like, if you like this one, go to a Victoria's Secret because they're probably going to have it, especially the one, um, one of the ones in San Francisco. They have a really good section. Anyway, this one I got last year at Victoria's Secret. So they have the same style, but not the same color. It's this bad boy which is this really pretty emerald green. The only problem is that it's a little small for me because it's been a year, but I'm gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so I really like this one. That one's cute. And then this one I actually got at H&M. It's just another bandeau that I can tie up and the bottoms. Boop. So a little bit darker. Again, a little too small for me. Meh. Gonna have to make it happen. My taking a break from crazy. All right, so the next thing is a lip product. Okay, so I do not like it when my hair gets stuck on my lips because they are sticky. It's gross, but I do not like chapped lips either. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing too much for my makeup, but at least of the days I'm going to the beach and camping and stuff like that, because that's not really practical. There's also really, it's not very necessary. But this is my favorite of all time. My favorite one within the baby lips, and then baby lips itself is just. This one is the peach one. It smells, like it's so good. I tried to get my boyfriend to wear it the other day. I love this so much. It's awesome. It's my favorite, and it's so, moisturizing oh my god like it really it says it lasts for eight hours it really does and I don't know if you can see that probably not you can't even see it at all like it's really like it's just chapstick basically but not sticky my hair doesn't get stuck to it I love it and it's gonna keep my lips from getting chapped especially if I'm going out there with the ocean air I don't want it to chap my lips it's not a good look so this bad boy but it's all gonna be alright moving on to number six Green Tea Facial Blotting Papers from Juleep.com. I got these as a gift, um, or in my Maven box this for this month, but you can see them. They smell pretty good, but these are awesome. It came with 40, and they're super, they're, it's great. Um, like I said, I have combination skin, so I really get mostly, o most of my oily spots are just going to be in my T-zone. So these are perfect for when it's hot and you're getting really feeling like you're sweating a lot or you're feeling a little bit oily you can just take one out use it to blot your face and it doesn't take off your makeup so you don't you can basically mattify I guess your face and you don't have to worry about it being super oily all day so I keep these in my bag in my day-to-day -day life but I'm definitely bringing these bad boys of course, uh, my naked two palette Obviously, how could I not bring this? I mean, you all know what this looks like, but this is the perfect palette to bring. I kind of wish I had the Naked Basics palette. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm definitely going to, though, but I mean, this isn't super bulky. It's pretty thin, but I love this for neutral looks. I love this for something subtle. I love this for something smoky. I love this for something dramatic. This is super versatile. Um, obviously, they're, it's a Naked 2 palette. They're neutrals for the most part. Well, they are all neutrals, but they're, um, you're still able to pull off some really smoky and fun looks for going out at night. Uh, it doesn't have any color, like bright colors in it, but that's okay. I'm not going to want to get do anything too crazy while I'm there, so definitely this is a great vacation palette. I got you in my arms, taking a break from crazy. Obviously, you're not going to want to bring 
huge bulky perfumes, especially if they break or spill on your stuff. So mists are definitely the way to go. They're also not as, um, they're not gonna be as strong because a perfume is gonna, an ADP or perfume is gonna be the strongest or purest form of the fragrance, whereas a mist isn't quite as concentrated. So the two that I'm bringing, I'm bringing this one, it's called Truescape, obviously I like it. It's a VS Fantasy from Victoria's Secret, and it has jasmine and pomelo. I don't know what that is. But I really like this one. It's very different. Because of the jasmine, it has kind of like a sweet, almost florally, floral scent to it. But I really enjoy this one. It's, I mean, I don't want, I don't know if you could really call a fragrance casual, but it is kind of casual. It's definitely not anything too crazy. But I'm also going to be carrying some of these bad boys, which are just, you know, the little minis, the samples in my purse, which I always do for when I'm going out. But the one that I really like, especially for summertime, is Very Sexy Touch, which I believe that they still sell in stores in the full. Um, you can also, in the Impulse Towers at Victoria's Secret, you can get the little mini ones. They're not as small as this, they're like 10 bucks, but it's a great way to kind of figure out if you like that scent or not. But this one has apricot in it, which fruity scents are always fun for summer. So this is perfect. I can just keep it in my makeup bag, pull it out when I'm out, spray myself, I'm good to go. Super easy, not too bulky, not going to take up too much room. And then there is this one you might think is a little bit TMI, but I think it's definitely a must, is a good strapless bra. So especially in nude. So the one I'm bringing is from Victoria's Secret, obviously. It's a Dream Angels multi-way, meaning that the straps can come off or you can wear them with the straps on. Um, and I really like this one. I have a few, like, I have a lot of strapless bras, but this one's awesome. It's pretty seamless right here, so it doesn't show through, but the cool thing about it is that it's thin, the padding, but it has this memory foam, so it's gonna mold to your body. So the more you wear it, the better it's gonna fit, the better it's gonna feel. It's gonna be able to conform to your shape and stay up really well. I've had a lot of success with this bad boy, so I really like this one, but I'm gonna be wearing sundresses, I'm gonna be wearing little tops that are strapless, things like that, summery stuff, so this is definitely a summer must have for me and definitely for my vacation. And the final thing that I am most definitely going to be bringing is a BB cream. So the one I have is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream. So it says 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And it also has an SPF 30 in it, which is awesome. I am going to be doing so many things on my trip. I'm definitely not going to want to take too much time on my makeup. I don't want to take it to take more than 10 minutes. So this is perfect. It's really light coverage, which is what I want, especially if I'm going to be going um, and doing things that I don't really need heavy coverage for. Like, I probably won't be wearing makeup to the beach or really camping, but this is perfect for a nice, fun, beachy SoCal trip. I'm probably just going to bring a setting powder and mascara and, like, chapstick. Like, I'm going to keep it really simple and maybe do some neutral eye looks with my Naked 2 palette, but this is great. I haven't tried any other drugstore BB creams. I really love Maybelline. They're probably my favorite uh, drugstore brand, so I gravitated towards this when I wanted to try one. I'm sure there are other ones and I'm definitely going to try them out, but I'm really loving this so far. It gives really good coverage for a BB cream. It's nothing too sheer, but of course it's really light, so you don't even feel it after you blend it with your beauty blender. You're set. Super fast, super easy, so this is definitely a must-have. Alright, so that is everything that I wanted to share with you. My top 10 vacation must-haves. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing a lot of other stuff. I'm trying to pack light. See how successful that will be. Probably not too successful, but that's okay. So, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like, and then also follow me on Instagram. It's at she smiles all day, and then check out my blog. It's www.sheilasmyers.com. Anyway, if you like videos like this, comment below and let me know. I'd love to talk to you guys and find out some feedback, see how you're liking my videos. Let me know, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Cause every day is just the in-between